a life and spiritual coach who's also a leading contributor on Kourtney Kardashian's lifestyle website and many others is sharing her advice on accessing our best selves. We've got Ryan Haddon here to talk about what happens when we're showing up authentically in our relationships. Glad you're here. Welcome. Oh, it's great to be here. First, what does it mean to show up authentically and how common is it for people to be less than authentic? Well, I think for the most part, we really want to connect in a real way, and we can't truly do that unless we're ourselves. But unfortunately, we're afraid people are going to leave us. We're afraid if we say the wrong thing, someone will be hurt or offended. So there's a, a, deal of, a great deal of fear that comes in between us being authentic and us showing up in that way in our, in our partnerships and our relationships. Makes, makes so sense. it's pretty better. normal. There, and there are several yeah. ways to then to show up authentically. First, you say take responsibility for your side of the relationship. What does that do? You know, I think we do a lot of blaming. If you could just do this, then everything would be okay. If you would just do that, and we have these scripts that we want people to follow along with. But if we could just let that go and focus more on how am I showing up? How am I being authentic? How am I speaking my truth? How am I communicating clearly my needs and wants? And also, how am I taking care of my own needs and wants and not asking others to shoulder that unnecessarily? I think so many relationships get repaired in this way when we focus on ourselves a little bit first and stop asking other people to be what we're unwilling to be for ourselves. And that's why it's important. You know, you talk about communicating your needs effectively. This has to be really honest and open-ended, doesn't it? I think it does, and I think we have to do it lovingly, and I think we have to do it clearly, but we have to get clear first on what those are. A lot of times we're not. We don't really know what we want and need in partnership. So looking at your past relationships, we're talking about intimate relationships or even friendships, what worked, what didn't, and then from there you start to know how you want to show up as a friend and how you, how, what value you put on those relationships. And I like this piece a lot. You say you have to foster the healthy relationships, the ones you want to have grow, and then you might end up letting go of some of the other relationships. How does that process work? Well, it's getting clear on how consistently you feel when you spend time with someone, what they say, what they do, how they follow through. And then we don't necessarily have to let them go completely, but we can limit our time with them. We can prep ourselves ahead of time and not have these expectations that they're going to be different because often we do that. And then these things go on and on for years at a time when we can just say, you know, I'm going to spend this amount of time with that person. Maybe I'll just meet them for lunch. Maybe I'll just do a dinner instead of these, these expectations and then feel this consistent letting down. That's letting ourselves down. So we're responsible with who we spend our time with and how much time we allot to certain people. And it feels like there's a real sense of freedom and being liberated when you are your authentic self. Anything else you want people to keep in mind before we go? You are your own best ally, your own best friend. So when you start to really get that, we can let other people off the hook a little bit and then things start to go a bit better. Setting boundaries, practicing self-care, letting the relationship just have it, the, the balance in your life. It shouldn't be your everything. It should be a big, important part of your aspect, your how you socialize, how you connect. But at the end of the day, it's you and you show up how you show up in every single relationship. And that's something interesting to take a look at. Wonderful. We really appreciate the insight. Thank you very much for being here.